Welcome everyone. So yes, when everybody looks at it for the first time, they think that the answer for this one is zero. But that's not the case. Please understand, whenever you have a number which is followed by a percentage sign, you can write it in terms of fraction by dividing that number by 100. Okay, so let's write root of 64 as nothing but what 64 upon 100 and then minus 8 percent can be written as 8 upon 100. Now when you take the root, you don't take the root only of, of the numerator but of the entire fraction means we'll take root of 64 that is what just 8 and root of 100 that is just 10. Now a lot of people over here will start arguing that root of any number, let's say 64, had to be plus minus 8. I have told this in a lot of my videos, please understand. Plus minus situation only arises when you had a variable, say x square was 64. So x will be equal to plus minus 8. Because if there is a variable, variable has the power to change its value. Okay, But if you are taking the root of a positive number, then in that case, the entire answer will always always be just a positive answer now let's get back to our sum we have 8 upon 100 over here now what we can do over here is let's take lcm so lcm is what 100 now in order to make this 100 we have multiplied by 10 so if you're multiplying the denominator you need to multiply the numerator as well so 8 into 10 that gets you 80 minus 8 that gets you 72 upon 100. So see, if the answer was sub not given, as, as in if they wanted the answer in fraction, then this you can reduce further. That gets you what? 36 upon 50, which can further reduce and we get 18 upon 25. So this is your first answer. First answer is 18 upon 25. If the answer was supposed to be written in terms of decimal, it would have been written on 0 0.72. And if it was supposed to be written in terms of percentage, you just multiply by 100, so that can be written as what? 72%. So I hope you've understood that you have literally three answers for this particular question. So you can, if this was a multiple choice question, you could have marked whatever answer was given in your option. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.